so um neighbor nature i just wanted to ask you this question so you can give your personal view or your personal opinion Romania, the poorest country in Europe, what can you say about it? What are your thoughts based on your experience that you've been here for two years now? What can you say to this um to this question? Well, this is a, a question that seems to have been on <laughs> on the minds of most people yeah. in and out of Romania for a very <laughs> long time now. Many people hold that Romania is among the poorest countries in, in Europe mm -hmm. and even in the world. However, uh, I, don't, I don't think that's true. Okay. Because looking at the World Bank ranking globally, uh, Romania comes in the 47th place. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Romania comes in the 47th place. And uh, this is in terms of the GDP. Yeah, globally, Romania is in the 47th place in terms of uh, their GDP. And in Europe, Romania comes in the 12th place. Wow. So these are good records. And uh, any, no one would think that Romania is the poorest when looking at these records. Because Romania falls in between... Uh, in between... Uh, uh, Finland and the Czech Republic when it comes to the GDP which and you know the Czech Republic and uh, Finland are great economic powers they are financially really strong and think about the other countries that can be after Romania mm -hmm. and then you will know that Romania is not as poor as uh, most people think Romania is actually uh, an economic uh, giant and which uh, with a rich history with uh, a lot of mineral resources which they even share generously with their neighbors so to think that romania is one of the poorest countries in africa in in the in europe or in the <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah, the yeah. <laughs> so to think that romania is one of the poorest countries in europe is uh, is being biased yeah okay. anyone who would think such is just being biased because when you look at the records the records don't lie the records don't lie and when you look at the the minimum uh monthly gross salary in romania it stands at 603 euros it stands at 603 euros and i know many european countries that stand at 500 and uh, even lesser you know and this is to tell that Romania is definitely on the way to uh, to becoming one of the first world countries. Yeah. Yeah, they are on the path, and I am very positive with the work that the Romanian government is doing so far that uh, this G dream will be achievable in the shortest time possible. Well, there is there is actually uh, an assumption that by 2025 or latest 2030 Romania should be uh, among the first uh, 15 richest countries in Europe. in Europe I mean it's already among the first 12 in Europe but it should be among the first in the world yeah I don't know how that's gonna be but if Romania should get rich I mean should be able to get access to this Schengen zone Mm -hmm. I believe that this is going to be a great plus to Romania because then they'll be able to trade freely with their neighbors mm -hmm. without all the, the border checks the, which often delay and cause loss of uh, hundreds of uh, hundreds of thousands of, U of uh, euros. Mm -hmm. You know, this is definitely going to help boost Romania's economy and place them in a very high pedestal okay. in the world and uh in europe in particular yeah what are the about the part that you talk about your your friends in other countries when you have like a conversation based on their standards of living yeah okay uh i have friends living in in denmark I have friends living in in belgium i have friends living in france as well mm -hmm when i when i discuss with them 
uh, they tell me how many hours they work in a, in a, in a day mm -hmm. and <laughs> how many hours they work in a week and barely have time for themselves. They don't have time to chill around. They don't have time to take care of, the, of personal stuff. I realized that Romania is actually that country where I would want to be. Yeah. Even if even in the next five or ten or twenty years to come, I would want to be in Romania. Are you serious about this? I mean, there are no doubts about it. <laughs> there are no doubts about it, because when you look at it keenly, you realize that Romania, although the the pay package might be lower than uh, the pay package in most of these countries, mm -hmm. however, with the salary you get in Romania, you get to spend less. On accommodation, mm -hmm. you get to spend less on feeding. Mm -hmm. You spend less in transportation, yeah. and you realize that the standard of living is really comfortable mm -hmm. compared to the standard of living in other countries. For example, someone living in Sweden would spend three times what someone living in Romania would spend on accommodation. Yeah. Someone living in Denmark would spend about four times what someone spending in, living in Romania would spend on feeding. Yeah. So you realize that there are still some balances despite it all. And that is why I wouldn't want to go to a country where I would have to work extra hard. But, but in your case, do you realize that even though they pay higher in their accommodation, they also earn more? Of course, they do earn more. But unfortunately, they don't have this peace of mind that I have. <laughs> <laughs> They don't have it. <laughs> because in Romania, I work eight hours. Yeah. I work eight hours. I have a fixed work schedule from nine until 5.30. And then I'm free. I can do any other thing I want to do. Uh -huh. You know, I don't have to work to, to, to have two jobs. I don't need to have two jobs or three jobs just to be able to take care of the rent, take care of the feeding, take care of the transport mm -hmm. and all of that. I am just comfortable with eight hours of work. And if I want to add something extra, it should be like two hours or three hours. And it should probably be from, be, be from home and not in some, you know, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. So, so, yeah. Yeah, so what you're saying is you can, you can actually work here in Romania at a comfortable space. You pay less in your accommodation, less in food and also save. Definitely. Yeah. So, conclusively, I would uh, like to encourage all the expats living out there, uh, living and working in Romania, to note that there is always a starting point to every journey. The fact that you find yourself in Romania should be considered a starting point. And uh, no matter how things might go right now, I just want to let you know that the quest for improvement and for for growth should be your sole drip drive point. It should be your point of uh, your point of focus because you might start small, but then there is a possibility that you grow in what you're doing and become the best in it. The advantage that Romania offers is the opportunity to grow. Most companies in Romania offer that chance. I, am start, I started in a field that, uh, well, I had some experience in it, that's construction. But then I find myself today in, in finance. Someone like me who started in construction, mm -hmm. uh, which was... Uh, just a part-time thing for me mm -hmm. back home because yeah. <laughs> I used to work with my dad a lot in mm -hmm. construction, in uh, painting, okay. uh, tiling and all that. When I moved to Romania, I had to start from there. Mm -hmm. But then with time, I, I had to switch into, into a field that was closely related to languages. Uh, which I actually studied at school because I have, as I mentioned earlier, I have a Bachelor of Arts in English and French Studies with uh, some experience in translation, English and French, and uh, in teaching as well. <laughs> I taught English and French back home mm -hmm. for about two, three years. 
So when I got this opportunity in finance, I decided to grab it and it's been a, a journey indeed. It's been a journey to growth, it's been a journey to improvement mm -hmm. and today I feel more comfortable in the finance field than in any other field I have been in before. So I'm just encouraging you out there don't see the level where you are right now as a challenge don't mm -hmm. see the job you have right now as a as a challenge just take it as an opportunity to grow just giving the best of you and then hopefully someday you will stand to testify and to rejoice that yeah. it actually was a grow a point of growth mm -hmm. and it built you into what you are yeah and Romania can be that place for you to start definitely Romania is a very good starting point. I know many people who started here and who presently own businesses of their own. Africans. I know medical doctors here yeah. in Romania. Yeah. Surgeons. Wow. <laughs> so Romania is a, it's a nice country and anyone can make it here. It all depends on how motivated you are. Yeah, how goal driven you are. Definitely yeah so guys we have managed to come to the end of this video i hope that you managed to learn something i hope that the video got to give you some encouragement and yeah some insights about romania so i want to thank my guest nearby nature thank you for coming the second time to give this powerful information out there yeah thank you very very much for coming I know that my viewers or my subscribers are actually grateful because you give them inside information, you encourage them, 